This was Uganda's first ever gazette of all military clothing. The army says it's a commitment to define an identity and the outlook of a professional army. By standardizing, it will also be a deterrent against those who might may want to use or misuse all these uh, items that are now defense to us, that are properties of the state. Different forces flags have also been deserted. The list of items ranges from backpacks to gumboots. Different colored berets are also reserved for the armed forces. It is now prohibited to sell or wear any decoration resembling that of the army. Last month, the movement led by youthful member of parliament Robert Chagulanyi, also known as Bobby Wine, launched the Red Beret as their brand identity. The Red Beret is worn by Uganda's military police. When you look at that gazette, it is overstretching its mandate. A gazette derives its authority from an act of parliament. The act of parliament is very specific. It is talking about symbols, okay? It's Guinea marks okay it does not in any way talk about shape it does not in any way talk about color anyone found in possession of the items is liable and can be convicted to imprisonment for a term not exceeding five years rights activists say they will be seeking a turnaround on the decision we shall take legal action in due course either to apply for a review of, of, of the decision to, uh, the, of the high command to gazette something that is outside their own act and also the constitutionality of this behavior that is specifically targeting one political group in this country. It is not the first time the government has restricted the public on attire. Last year, police warned football fans against wearing political party colors to an Africa Cup of Nations qualifying merge. Leon Sanyange, ACBC News, Kampala.